Hey guys, don't try to fix your weaknesses. Emphasize your strengths. A lot of people are pretty good at a handful of things and miserable at best at some. What I say by what I mean by this is don't spend your time trying to fix something that you know you're not very good at and trying to do things that take you forever to do because you just don't like doing them when you can find other ways around it whether to outsource them, uh, you know, get someone else to do it for you, uh, you know, find a better way to do it, or just eliminate it from your life altogether. You know, there's a lot of ways around things that you're miserable at to really emphasize the things that you are very good at. And you should be building those strengths to eventually you know, be able to become a specialist or an expert in that field so you can really take advantage of that skill, help other people do that, and even start your own business, get paid for it, or just make a difference in the world. But if you're going to try to be a jack of all trades and just be, you know, a little bit good at, a little good at everything and, you know, not very good at a lot of other things and just all over the place, it's really not going to benefit you in the long run in, you know, being successful and really, you know, picking a selective market to really focus on and become an expert in. Just a quick tip. I fell into that trap many, many times. So realizing this, going through uh, the educational system, I'm personally in school, also work full time. It's just really solidifying that thought in my mind and how, you know, becoming a specialist in one aspect and getting other people to help you or hire out where you're not very good really boost your business and boost yourself and boost your confidence.